This video briefly covers how to add materials and shadows to a 3D layer in Photoshop CS5 Extended. Here is a composite containing a 3D text layer that was created using Adobe Reposé. You can also download any 3D object of supported formats by going to the 3D Browse 3D Content Online to be connected with our supported 3D content providers. With a 3D Reposé object, we can texture the object by going back into the Reposé dialog. To do so, I'll choose my mesh filter and click here, and you'll see that I'm brought back into my Reposé dialog. I can adjust the materials for all faces by choosing the All Materials Picker, or I can adjust individual faces, for instance the front here, and just change the material of that face. For now, I'm going to remove all the textures so that I can show you how to texture this object outside of the Reposé dialog. An important note, most materials will need to be rendered using the Adobe Ray Tracer to see final lighting and optimal rendering. To kick this into the Ray Trace mode, go to your Scene Graph, and under the Quality menu, choose Ray Trace Draft or Ray Trace Final. Now back to texturing your object in the Materials panel. You can see all my materials are listed here in my, in my Scene Graph. Now to start texturing this, I can come in here and select the right face and use the Material Picker as well. Or I can simply come in here and change the Diffuse color to just change the color of my object. Now if I want to add the same material to different faces of my 3D geometry, I can come in here and use the new Material Drop tool. On Canvas, I can hold down the Alt key to load that material into my dropper, and on any face, I can actually come in here and click and drop that material onto the appropriate face. To see the ground shadows, I want to position my lights for where I want my shadows to fall, and then turn on the ground shadows up here in the 3D menu, Ground Plane Shadow Catcher, or from the 3D Flyout as well. Again, for shadows, I have to kick it into the Ray Trace mode in order to see them. You can see now Photoshop is beginning to do a final render on my object and the shadows as well. I can start to build my composite for this web banner here, all within Photoshop CS5 Extended. 